Welcome to the Sauce Mob. Hit that button that say subscribe and join the ride. You feel me? As we all know, badges in 2K17 are hard to get. 2K17 skill badges can be achieved through various ways while playing the NBA 2K17 My Career or Park. It is divided into five tiers, which are bronze, silver, gold, hall of fame, and grand badge. As we all know, when you unlock a badge in 2K17, you keep it and then you get to purchase the next level of tiers for it. All you have to do is do the minimum required amount of objectives to reach the first tier. Then after that, you can purchase it to hall of fame. Now, for example, mid-range Deadeye, it says knock down shots from medium range at a very high percentage. And how to get it, you gotta make about 150 to 200 mid-range jump shots from the elbow inside the paint while you're heavily contested. I know y'all wondering, Reese, why are we talking about 2K17? Be because that is sounding like the basis of 2K24's badge system. For those of you that play my career, for those of you that play the park, most of y'all that watch my channel is here because you build a my player, because you go online in the park. So that just means this is important to you. I will never forget having to unlock hustle rebounder anyway set the screen your player cut to the left so you shoot on the right stick to the left it falls right in his lap and then on defense just switch right back to your my player simple as that put up a shot get in position go back to justice and just run it right back again it's quick and easy to get done player run left so you shoot to the left fall right in his lap call for it again call him back over this time he cut to the right so i'm gonna shoot to the right he even jumps past two defenders for that one shot clock running low so i shoot straight rim and he gets me 250 offensive rebounds for a hall of fame that was the longest and most tedious process i've ever gone through and at the end of it i realized i didn't even want that build so i wasted a lot of time out of my life i am disappointed you don't know i don't remember how many rebounds i caught i, I could easily look it up but i'm not going to i remember having to grab so many rebounds and when i made a point guard i had to dish out so many assists to get dimer it was a frustrating process i'm saying all of that because i went on twitter and i saw double h tweet this my thoughts on the new bad system the pros it separates the grinders from the rest it promotes your own play style certain badges will be earned the cons randoms will go for certain badges online and take worse shots ball hog or force bad passes depending on what badge they're going for making a new build will be much more irritating later in the year if you like to play only online unless rebirth is back and better that brought that to my attention because later in the year when i do want to make a separate build i'm not in the mood to grind badges and with it being back on that 2k17 type of energy i'm going to be frustrated and the reason i'm saying all of this is because of the badge information we got today and it reads as follows are there any additional gameplay nuances that players might not notice at first that they want to highlight this year we haven't announced much of it yet but the badge game is very nuanced this year let's put it this way the way you play on the court is going to reflect how your badges get shaped and how your player looks at the end of the day the reason that line right there thought of 2k17 is because you had to go and earn specific badges recently you just put each skill point to whatever badge you want you didn't have to do a specific move to equip a badge you just had to have your right attribute so it unlocks so that makes me think is going back to 2k17 where we have to do specific tasks repeatedly to get the badge now 150 high, highly contested mid-range jump shots to get dead eye was a little ridiculous so i'm hoping it ain't nothing like that like like 250 rebounds 
for hustle rebounder is an annoying process for anybody and i'm hoping it's not that i'm hoping if it is a grind it's less tedious than what we had to deal with in the past so when you do something over and over again let's say you like to do spin jumpers you're going to see your abilities as a spin jumper player improve steadily over time and so you're going to find that just the way you play the game what you like to do on a court is going to improve you're going to kind of build your player in that aspect so i'm excited about that chat let me know how y'all feeling about that the moves you do specifically helps the badges you get let me know what y'all think of that topic right there, flush. Just put that down in the comments. Now let's dive deeper into it. Mike Wang has already told us what shooting badges are going to do with shooting. Baluba, if it's green or miss in the park and wreck, do shooting badges increase the green window or something? Because if it increases percentage made, it wouldn't matter unless it's green, since whites don't go in. Shooting badges don't impact your shot percentage like they used to. Now, they either modify shooting attributes, your shot window size, or both. Basically, for those of y'all that don't understand, badges in the past, it made it so you could get a higher percentage chance of making a white. Let's say dead eye, somebody come contest your shot, you get a higher percentage chance to make it. Now, these shooting badges will literally increase your attribute. Let's say you got a badge for mid-range shooting, your mid-range jumper might go up a couple tiers. Let's say you got a badge for three-point shooting, your shot window gets bigger just because you got that badge now. Hey, badges are looking like they're pretty important to how the game is played. The way you achieve them is looking very different to what we had this whole next gen it's going back to the previous generations of 2k17 that's why i keep using that example i'm excited that we have a new feature in the game where you can mold your player on the fly as you play games going to be really interesting this whole mold your player on the fly thing because there's a menu system when you're activating takeover it's like a little menu that pops up and you get to choose which takeover you activate when you activate takeover and now he's saying you can mold your player on the fly during games and you unlocking badges from doing certain things i don't know what any of this means as far as on court gameplay but it looks like your player is a hundred percent changeable and nothing is like locked or for certain with your character right now i don't know what any of this means this made me just want to look at the grind of this year and i don't have all of my badges court that i wanted so i don't know man none of these badge grinds matter to me because at this point i'm tired of doing them that's 2017 one was the last one that i actually committed myself to doing that 2k18 badge grind i ain't want to do that one neither come on man at a certain point i had to just start letting go i had to just start letting go y'all asking too much out of me this unpluckable still hasn't gotten it I can't control how many people try to steal the ball against me. I can't get this to the max, and I don't think I will by the time 2K24 come out. At that point, I'm never, I never got to play with my build at full capacity, you know? Fearless Finisher never got finished. You see that right there? I never got Fearless Finisher finished, so then I could move on to the posterizer or whatever I was supposed to have on this build. I forgot how I was even supposed to build it. That's how long it's been since I had everything fully thought out you know it just didn't work out like i wanted it to so ultimately i just hope the badge grind isn't tedious that's all i want i want to be able to have max badges on my build without having to put in my whole life because i still don't have these max badges on this game if I plan on making multiple builds, I need to be able to have badges on multiple of them. I'm going to be honest. After you do the badge ground once, I don't want to do it again. I don't know how y'all be having multiple max badge builds. I haven't had one. That sucks. And I don't like it. The rebirth don't do enough for me. And the online multiplayer leveling up badges don't do enough for me. Maybe you should get more reward points for playing multiplayer. I don't know what it is, but whatever 2K been doing with badges, I've never had a full build in a while. But other than that, chat, let me know what y'all thinking.